What's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to today's installment of Renegades Reviews. I'm the Renegade J.J. Williams, here to bring you my thoughts on yet another movie. This one is a biopic released this past year. It is Love and Mercy, The Life, Love and Genius of Brian Wilson. The general synopsis is, in the 1960s, Beach Boys leader Brian Wilson struggles with emerging psychosis as he attempts to craft his avant-garde pop masterpiece. And in the 80s, he is a broken, confused man under the 24-hour watch of the shady therapist, Dr. Eugene Landy. Um... This is a movie I have been wanting to see ever since it came out in theaters, select theaters. It was not a massive worldwide release. It was released in select theaters across the U.S., so you may or may not have even had it in your city. It stars John Cusack as 70s and 80s Brian and Paul Dano as 60s Brian. Elizabeth Banks, Paul Giamatti, Jake Abel, Kenny Wormald, Brett Davern, Graham Rogers, Bill Camp, Joanna Going, Mark Lynette, and numerous others. I actually attempted to try to see this movie in the theaters at one point, but I got a phone call and ended up having to leave the theater before it started. So I got my money back and I was never able to get back to attempt to see it again, so I had to wait for it to come to Redbox. Finally got to rent it the day it came out on Redbox. And I think it is a beautifully crafted masterpiece of a movie. I hope to God that there's Oscar nominations and awards in its future. Both Paul Dano and John Cusack did brilliant jobs portraying Brian into the various stages of his career. You know, they basically give you the greatest hits of the Beach Boys during the opening credits. And the movie picks up where Brian decides he doesn't want to tour anymore so that he can pursue creating what would become Pet Sounds. So there we're talking mid-60s. And then we fast forward to John Cusack, circa 1986 Brian. You know, Dennis has just passed a couple years prior. He's kind of going out in public, but he's being shadowed by Mr. Landy and some of his bodyguards. And they talk about how he's not allowed to see his brother, and he's not allowed to see his kids. And you feel that pain that Brian is going through, being isolated and kept away from his family, like I said, John Cusack portrays that very, very well. Just like you feel the pain that Paul Dano is going through with his abusive father, uh, Mike Love not understanding the direction that he's trying to take the music, the, the voices in his head, and trying to get down onto paper for the studio musicians to play, and then onto tape the stuff that he's hearing in his mind to try to make it become what would become Pet Sounds. We then try to go into the production of the Smile album, where Brian just has his breakdown. and He's not able to get that stuff down. Um, this is 
like I said, it's just a really, really well-crafted and beautifully done movie. You had all the Beach Boys' greatest hits in here. Good Vibrations, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Sloop John B. The earlier stuff, like I said, was kind of done in montage form through the credits, so you don't get a whole lot of that stuff. Um, the title track, Love and Mercy, which was the opening track to Brian's debut solo album in 88. Very, very beautiful song and fits perfectly within the confines of this movie. Um, I think it's interesting the, the fact that two very, very different but equally influential bands got biopics this year. And realistically speaking, they only grew up a few miles and a few years apart. And that would be this movie with Brian Wilson and the Beach Boys, and then straight out of Compton with N.W.A. in the 80s. You know, Hawthorne, California, where the Beach Boys grew up, and Compton aren't all that far apart, probably between 10 and 20 miles. And there's only about 20 years difference in between them. And just the difference in the times and the music, but still being able to be equally as influential in their own right. You know, and I also find it ironic that Paul Giamatti is in both of these movies. In Love and Mercy, he portrays Dr. Eugene Landy, the therapist at Brian's side 24-7. And in Straight Outta Compton, he's Jerry Heller, the promoter, manager, co-founder of Ruthless Records with Easy e Both very slimy characters. Both thought that they were doing what was right for the people that they were involved with. You know, Dr. Landy thought he was doing the right thing for Brian in his mind. Jerry Heller thought that he was helping NWA and being a good friend to Easy. You know, the, the best part of a villain is that the villain has to think that in their mind, they're doing good. And Paul Giamatti in both roles does that very, very excellently. What did you guys think of Love and Mercy? Have you guys seen it? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. Let me know what you think. Um, tweet me your movie requests at R-O-W-J-J Williams. Leave them in the comment box. Let me know what you want to hear me review. And until tomorrow here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, I am the Renegade J.J. Williams, and I'll talk to you later.